My name is Kalechi Casey Anuna. Um, from Nigeria, grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. It's my sixth year playing pro, going on my seventh year this fall. Uh, just finished playing up in uh, Mexico, playing the Nigerian national team as well. Played in uh, Venezuela, Tunisia, Egypt, Morocco, Dominican, huh, Slovakia. I played all over. Man, it's like we we have our dreams we have to accomplish. Like you know. I wanted to be a professional basketball player. And I, I could tell, <clears throat> you can ask anybody around the city, I mean, I could tell you, like, I wasn't a good basketball player growing up. You know, I was, I, I liked it. You know, I was strong, you know, maybe athletic, but I wasn't a good basketball player. And I knew that. And once I came to the realization that I'm not a good basketball player, I need to work. And he wanted to pursue his thing in training and make other people better. He had a passion for that. We both had our passions. And like I said, they just, it's kind of like jail. Like, I want to be good at being a better basketball player. You want to be good at making players better. So uh, why not link up and, and get that going? And that's just kind of what drove us to get there, the passion. Making I want to get better, he want to get better. We helped each other do that. So that's how it happened. With him, he knows, like, within a day or two, or working out, he knows what button to push on a certain person. You know what I'm saying? He, he understands that. He learns that quickly, you know? I've been working out with him going on, like, eight-plus years, you know? Like, we, from scratch, we've been, we've been working with each other. So, like, he knows with me, like, when it comes to working hard, I'm, I'm not going to come here and mess around, play around. But he still knows what button to push. Like, he knows, okay, he's matured since I started, first I worked with him. But if I slack, he knows what to say to make me give that extra effort. He might say, oh, yeah, you can't shoot, or are uh, you slow, or something like that. You know, something like, oh, yeah, something you might get sent home, or something like that, you know. And it's like, all right, I'm going to show him, you know. And you I just run off 8, 10, 12 straight, you know. So it's things like that he, that he's real good at, you know.
we used basketball. Both of us had a, you know, we're from different parts of the world, you know what I'm saying, but different cultures, but basketball brought us together. And this is, you know, this 94 feet is where we could, like, forget about everything that's happened on the outside for that hour, two, three, four hours, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. My name is Alex Renfro. Uh, I went to I graduated from Hume Farm uh, downtown. Uh, went to Trevecca NAI for two years. Then I transferred to Belmont. Um, played two years in Belmont, and uh, finished graduated 2009. And I just finished my ninth year overseas professionally. Uh, me, uh, I just turned 32, so right now I'm I'm trying to stay in shape. You know, I come in here, I work on my wind, my conditioning, so. That's what I'm focused on. And it's, it's, it's your livelihood, man. This is, you know, this is my career. You know, um, you know I depend on this to, to, you know, take care of my family. So, you know, I gotta make sure at all times, you know, I'm in, I'm in shape, I'm ready to go. You know, I gotta make sure my body stays in tune. So uh, that's the motivation. You know, it's your career, you know, your, your family. You know, you want your family to be, a pr uh, be proud of you. And, you know, and you come in here with a guy like Marcus, you know, he keeps you motivated every time too. Um, you know, those mornings that you don't want to get up at 6 a.m., you don't want to be up at 5.15 to be at the gym at 6 a.m. to work out. You know, he's right there, he's right there with you, he's pushing you. Uh, that's the thing I like about him. You know, I always tell people, uh, when they ask me about Ken's, I always tell them this one thing about him, and this, you know, this will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, sun up and sun down, you send, you send Marcus a text and you know, you, you say, what's up, man, what's going on? You know, he always has the same reply, it never fails, in the gym. That's always, that's always the response, you know, he's always here. Uh, you know, it's never a time that I, that I uh, question whether I can get a, work in, uh, get a workout in or not. Um, I know he's always going to be here. Uh, I'm here at 6 a.m. to work out and, and I know if I text him at 7 p.m., I know he's going to say the same thing, that he's in the gym. Skill Wing is uh, Skill Wing is family, man. You know, I grew up watching Kenzo. Uh, you know, knows the game. You know, very down to earth guy. You know, I love him, man. Love him like family. But you got 26. If you got 26, you got 20 what? 23, 24. <laughs> it's one about them, man. I got 24. <laughs> And the key is Dokes, um, overseas professional basketball player. Uh, this past season I played in Argentina. Uh, before that I played in Japan, played in Poland, played in Mexico, Finland, France, Austria, Czech Republic. Uh, with Skill Wing, man, we just putting work in. Just, um, just grinding, you know, every day just putting the work in just so we can um, be successful during our season. You know, just putting the necessary work in, prepare yourself. Just, uh, being more consistent, uh, shooting the basketball, um, stretching the floor, being able to be guys off the dribble, just being able to add more to my game, just be more complete inside, outside, uh, getting in better shape, uh, just just trying to become a complete player. The family aspect where uh, we can 
I always call on Marcus anytime we need anything. Uh, <laughs> it could be something else besides basketball. I know he'll be there for me. Uh, and he has a, a good way of bringing, getting the older guys and the younger guys to kind of pass down um, the knowledge that we've gained to, to a younger generation. Cause I'm big, I'm big on mindset. I'm big on uh, the mental game. Cause I think anything in life, I, I, well, I ain't gonna think, I know everything in life is all mental. If, it, uh, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. You know, things like that, those, those affirmations, those positive things you hear, those things are true. So if you push the mentality to get better and you focus on getting better, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, if you wanna focus on making a million dollars, a million dollars can happen, you know, so. It's just a mentality that you have. Uh, so I, with me, I try to pass it on to the next person and just continue to feed positive things into them to change their mentality. Wonder 